call this meeting of Lima City Council to order. We'll begin tonight's meeting with the invocation by Councilor Crayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you for um, this great country that you have given us and um, the opportunity time after time to have a peaceful transition of power. Lord, uh, your word says in James 1 and 5 that if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask you and you will give it generously. Lord, I thank you that that does not just apply to uh, presidents, but it applies to everyday common men as well as the leaders of this country and the city. Thank you for giving us wisdom and insight to things that we cannot see and know without your supernatural power. I ask for um, those who protect our city and our country, be with them, give us strength, and all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice, and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We'll have the clerk call the roll. Councillor Gordon. Here. Councillor McLean. Here. Councillor Lowe. Councillor Crayer. Here. Councillor Adams. Here. Councillor Glenn. Here. Councillor Miles. Here. Councillor Nixon. Here. <coughs> Are there any amendments to tonight's agenda? Mr. President. Mr. McLean. Uh, we need to add the junior council to privilege of the floor. Second. The motion second is to add junior council to privilege of the floor. Is there any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the motion carries. First on the agenda is privilege of the floor. Junior counsel report. Mayor Berger, happy new year. Um, President Nixon, members of Lima City Council, family, neighbors, and friends. I am uh, Dr. Vicki Sherelds. I will be reporting for the Junior City Council today. Many of our members have now, they have jobs. So it's a wonderful thing, and uh, they work a little bit after school, so I told them I would take this over for them today. But they'll be here next month. <laughs> the Junior City Council has been very busy since our last report. We started our Compassion to Action Emergency Food Pantry on Friday, December 3rd, serving just 75 members of the community that first weekend. We are now serving close to 300 families each weekend. Uh, a mixture of fresh produce, canned goods, dairy products, breads, and meats. We're very grateful for that. A new partnership with G2 Revolution Company out of Finley, Ohio, allowed us to branch off into additional families and provide them with needed products such as laundry soap, floor and carpet cleaner, personal hygiene items, and many more things. We are, only, we are the only weekend emergency food pantry in West Central Ohio, and we're proud to provide this service to the families that are in need. Our one-on-one -on -one contact with the people of our community has even made it possible for us to connect families to new and that are new to our area, excuse me, uh, to the excellent services provided by agencies such as West Ohio CAP. In fact, we had a couple who recently moved to this area and when we talked to them, they were homeless and they were really, really concerned about being able to um, kind of keep their lives together as they looked for employment and, and, um, and they came to us basically for food, but after much conversation, and, and within about a week, the young man had a job and they had a place to live. So they're going to be moving in there very, very soon. And so we're very proud of our community that we reach out and we can uh, react so quickly to people when they have a need. We're also proud to serve our community alongside Pastor C.L. Manley and the members of the New Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church. Anyone who would like to support the Compassion to Action Emergency Food Pantry need only go to the West Ohio Food Bank and make a donation in our name. The funds will be placed on our account and we can use that money then to purchase items that we can make available to families in need. In December, we hosted our community Christmas party at the Lima Public Library. And on Sunday, January 15th, we celebrated Dr. King's birthday with a beautiful event at the City Club hosted by Dr. Derry Glenn through his community action program. On Monday afternoon, we participated in a march, which ended in a discussion about where we need to go from here to strengthen our community. 
and we all celebrated another new business venture operating on the south side called California Good. It was delicious, I have to tell you that. It's a name you'll be seeing in stores across the country, and when you do, remember, it began at the Sixth Ford. 2017 is the year of change. And for Lima Allen County, we are getting ready to make a lot of changes work to the good of local families. The recent deaths from heroin can't be tolerated any more than the loss of lives by gun violence. The Junior City Council is prepared to work with the city administration, Lima City Council members and agencies that keep the families of this community first on their list of priorities. We are training and organizing to make a powerful impact with the youth and the families of our community. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity to report to you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next on the agenda is the consent calendar. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. Yes, I move that item A be received, filed, and approved, and item B and C be received and filed. Second. The motion on the second is to re receive, file, and approve item A and to receive and file items B and C. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Communication number one. From the Director of Community <coughs> Development regarding legislation to place tax assessments. Mr. President. Ms. Crayer. Um, I move that communication number one be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number one. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number two. From the finance director regarding legislation for budget amendments. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that communication number two be received, filed. Legislation is on tonight's agenda. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number two. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. <clears throat> communication number three. From the Director of Human Resources regarding employment diversity. Mr. President. Councilor Glenn. I move that communication number three, receive and file. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number three. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number four. From the Director of Human Resources regarding legislation to enter into a contract with Clemens Nelson and Associates. Mr. President. Councilor Glenn. I move communication number four, receive and file legislation on night agenda. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number four. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying <coughs> Aye. 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 Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, those opposed? <coughs> the motion carries. Communication number five. From the Director of Human Resources regarding seasonal pay scale. Mr. President. Councilor Glenn. I move to communication number five, receive and file. Second. second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number five. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Communication number six. From the city engineer regarding legislation to enter into a contract with RA consultants. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that communication number six be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number six. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number seven. From the city engineer regarding legislation to enter into a contract with Garmin Miller and Associates. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that communication number seven be received and filed. Second. second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number seven. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number eight. From the Director of Public Works regarding legislation to enter into a contract with Hume Supply. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that communication number eight be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number eight. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number nine. From the City Engineer regarding legislation <coughs> to levy assessments for construction of sidewalks. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that communication number nine be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is receive and file communication number nine. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? 
The motion carries. Communication number 10. From the city engineer regarding legislation to amend the contract with United Survey, Inc. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that communication number 10 be received and filed. Second. The motion of the second is to receive and file communication number 10. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 11. From the city engineer regarding legislation to purchase survey equipment from Leica Geosystems, Inc. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. <laughs> I move that communication number 11 be received and filed. Second. The motion of the second is to receive and file Communication number 11, is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 12. From the city engineer regarding legislation to support establishment of U.S. Bike Route 25. Mr. President. Mr. Gordon. I move that communication number 12 be received and filed. Second. second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number 12. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 13. From the city engineer regarding legislation to submit an application to ODOT for transportation alternative program funding. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that communication number 13 be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number 13. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 14. From the Director of Public Works requesting legislation to apply for funds from the State Infrastructure Bank. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that communication number 14 be received and filed and authorize the law director to prepare the necessary les legislation. Second. The motion the second is to receive and file communication number 14 and to authorize the law director <coughs> to prepare the necessary legislation. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 15. From the Deputy Director of Parks regarding legislation to receive and expend funds from the Johnny Appleseed Cooperative Parks Grant Program. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that communication number 15 be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number 15. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 16. From the Director of Community Development regarding the Property Maintenance Activity Report for 2016. Mr. President. Who are you? Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Not Todd Gordon. <laughs> Not Mr. Gordon. Okay. <laughs> Councilor Carrera. Uh, I move that communication number 16 be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number 16. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Councilor Adams. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank the director, uh, Susan Crotty, for this uh, follow-up. Uh, when she first came on board, um, in December, uh, she did speak to council, uh, was aware of this requirement, and um, it was great to see the report and how busy the inspectors have been, and also the uh, vehicle um, officer. So again, thank you for this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Ms. Adams. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number 17. From the auditor regarding the contract labor report. Mr. President. Councilor Miles. I move that communication number 17 be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number 17. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Next we have reports of officials. Chief Martin. <coughs> Mr. President, members of council, thank you for uh, letting me come in here and speak tonight. Uh, as I'm sure everyone's aware, uh, the Lyme Police Department over the last several years, has, ha, we've undertaken many efforts to try to do a better job at reaching out to the community and communicating with the community. Uh, things such as Coffee with a Cop, uh, the Summer Police Academy, reaching out to the local school students. Um, and just uh, an, a variety of other efforts, uh, speaking to neighborhood associations, it's actually a pretty lengthy list of things that uh, we've been doing. 
And along that same line, um, or in that same effort, we are going to be uh, introducing a new part of, uh, or a new initiative to help to better reach out and commu uh, communicate with the community uh, beginning this Thursday. And it is something that we're calling Community Roll Call. And the reason why we are taking an approach like this roll call is because uh, as anybody who's ever watched Hill Street Blues or Adam 12, and yes, I know I'm dating myself here, but uh, um, anyone who's ever watched any of those shows, whether it, Ms. Crayer, it might have been for you on Nickelodeon. No <laughs> I, I'm guessing you might have watched it on Nickelodeon. They were TV shows. Aye, 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 aye. Okay. <laughs> But, but anybody who's ever watched a show like that understands roll call is actually a very vital part of every police officer's day. And the reason why it's so vital is because it is an opportunity for police officers to get the information that they need to be successful at what they do. Uh, and it also gives them a chance to interact with the supervisors uh, in case they have any questions about anything that may be going on. Uh, and so we decided that we wanted to be able to conduct roll call with the community. Now, obviously, it would be impractical to try to do that every day, so this is only going to be a monthly feature. But we are going to use this as an opportunity through Facebook, through social media, uh, to try to get information out to the public that the public may not otherwise be aware of. Uh, it's only going to be about a three-minute video each month uh, that will be released on the last Thursday of every month, or, or excuse me, I should say the fourth Thursday of every month. Um, and it will be topical or informational. Now, right now, we have a list of topics that we think would be good for us to talk about. Uh, the very first one that's going to be published to Facebook this coming Thursday uh, is going to involve me introducing this to the public. Uh, but after that, we have another list of topics that we think the public may very well be um, interested in. But rather than us just guessing about what the public's in, uh, interested in, one of the things that we're going to be doing through this effort is asking the public to submit topics to us that they would like us to address or to speak on. Uh, and so one of the things I would like to ask of council is in addition to encouraging people to uh, connect with us on Facebook, uh, we, I would also like to ask you as a favor to let your constituents know that if they have things that they would like us to address, to please submit those. Uh, because if the public doesn't tell us what they want to hear, then, then again, we're going to be guessing and it might be something that we want to hear about, but it may not be something the public really wants to hear. Um, the topics, uh, again, I, I'm going to be uh, conducting the first one uh, this week, but uh, after that it will be, we will be rotating our supervisors through, and that's really done with uh, the purpose of allowing our supervisors a chance to be seen a little bit more uh, by the public. Because again, whether it's through Facebook or it's in person, we want the public to get to see firsthand the people that are serving them. Uh, we don't want it to just be my face on there all the time. Heavens knows I don't want that. <laughs> so, uh, I was recently told by someone that I've got a great face for radio, and I have to agree with them. Uh, but, uh, so again, it is something that we want to uh, rotate around through with our sergeants. Um, if it's a particular topic that one sergeant may be a little bit better versed on than another, or a lieutenant may be a little bit better versed on, um, we will assign those topics accordingly each month. Uh, but, uh, again, it is a chance for us to get information out to the public, but also at the same time, allow the public to let us know what they would like to hear about. So I, again, I would just uh, encourage each of you to um, take a few minutes to view this each month uh, and at the same time also uh, encourage your constituents to do the same as well. So that is really about all to cover on the topic. Uh, if anyone has any questions though, I'll be more than happy to do my best to answer them. Mr. President, I have one thing. Mr. Glenn. Chief, I think that's great and uh, give everybody the opportunity to ask you that question. Instead of asking me, so you got to go on Facebook. You want to answer it on Facebook too? Yeah, yeah, again, and, and now. You'll be live? You'll be doing live? It's not going to be live. We're going to tape it each time because, okay. uh, again, police officers, um, my officers, if they're asked to, to run into a burning building or if they're asked to run into gunfire to save somebody, they will do it without hesitation. Right. You ask them to stand in front of a camera and they get nervous. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's one of those things that it gives them a chance to, uh, we can do some edits so that it uh, mm -hmm. takes out some of the, uh, what would otherwise maybe create confusion and mm -hmm. lag time and things like that. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Sound Thank good. You, Chief.
Next is resolutions. Uh, resolution 117. A resolution supporting the establishment of U.S. Bike Route 25. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that resolution number one be passed on its first reading. Second. second. The motion the second is to adopt resolution 117 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Will the clerk call the roll? Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? Resolution 117 has been adopted on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 517. Amending section 232.03 of the codified ordinances of Lima, Ohio. Mr. President. Councilor Miles. I move that ordinance 5-17 be moved to a third reading. Second. The motion in the second is to place ordinance 517 on its third reading. Is there any discussion? Those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Ordinance 817. Loving special assessments for property <coughs> maintenance code charges on premises in the city of Lyme, Ohio. Mr. President. Councilor Crayer. I move an ordinance 8 17. We pass on its first reading. Second. second. The motion in the second is to pass ordinance 8 17 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Will the clerk call the roll? Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? <clears throat> Ordinance 817 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 10? 10... 9. Turned one, two minutes. <laughs> Ordinance 917. Levying <clears throat> special assessments for the 2016 combined sidewalk project for construction of certain described sidewalks in accordance with Resolution 715 adopted September 26, 2015. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that ordinance number 917 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion, <clears throat> the motion in the second is to pass ordinance 917 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? We'll have the clerk call the roll. Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? Ordinance 917 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 1017. Amending the 2017 annual budget. Mr. President? Councillor Adams? I move that Ordinance 10 17 be passed on its first reading. Second. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 1017 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? We'll have the clerk call the roll. Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? Ordinance 1017 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 1117. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Harris ERP for maintenance and support of the Harris ERP financial management software. Mr. President. Councilor Miles. I move that ordinance number 1117 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion on the second is to pass ordinance 1117 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? We'll have the clerk call the roll. Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? Ordinance 1117 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 1217. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Clemens Nelson and Associates. Mr. President. Councillor Miles. I move that Ordinance 1217 be amended. Uh, to the following on section one to read the cost is not to exceed 40,000. Second. The motion in the second is to amend ordinance 1217 in section one by adding, striking the period and adding a comma not to exceed $40,000. Is there any discussion on the motion to amend? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. We now need to pass the ordinance as amended. I move that we pass the amendment as, pass the ordinance as amended. Second. The motion in the second is to pass ordinance 1217 on its first reading as amended. Is there any discussion? 
All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Oh, I'm sorry, aye. we have a roll call. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Councilor, Sally, would you call the roll? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Councilor Craig. Yes. Councilor Adams. Yes. Councilor Glenn. Yes. Councilor Miles. Yes. Councilor Nixon. Yes. Councilor Gordon. Yes. Councilor McLean. Yes. Councilor Lowe. Ordinance 1217 has been passed on its first reading as amended by a 7 to 0 vote. Could have done it by uh, Ordinance 1317. Authorizing the mayor to accept and administer funds from the Johnny Appleseed Cooperative Parks Improvement Grant Program. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that Ordinance 1317 be passed on its first reading. Second. second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 1317 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? We'll have the clerk call the roll. Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? Ordinance 1317 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 1417. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Hume Supply for demolition of buildings in connection with the Road State Center for Health Science, Education, and Innovation. Mr. President. Councillor Gordon. I move that Ordinance 1417 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 1417 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I have one thing to say. Um, I'm glad to see this ordinance. I hope it will get unanimous support. Um, I think it will be good to see some activity happening on this project, so I'm looking forward to it. If there's no further discussion, we'll have the clerk call the roll. Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? Ordinance 1417 has been passed on its first <coughs> reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 1517. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Leica Geosystems, Inc. Mr. President. Councillor Gordon? I move that Ordinance 1517 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 1517 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? We'll have the clerk call the roll. Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? Ordinance 1517 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 1617. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a co contract with RA Consultants. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that Ordinance 1617 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 1617 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? We will have the clerk call the roll. Councilor Crayer? Yes. Councilor Adams? Yes. Councilor Glenn? Yes. Councilor Miles? Yes. Councilor Nixon? Yes. Councilor Gordon? Yes. Councilor McLean? Yes. Councilor Lowe? Ordinance 1617 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 1717. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Garmin Miller and Associates. Mr. President. Councilor Gordon. I move that <coughs> Ordinance 1717 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 1717 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Will the clerk call the roll? Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? Ordinance 1717 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 1817. Authorizing the mayor to submit a letter of interest and application to the Ohio Department of Transportation for Transportation Alternative Program Funds. Mr. President. Councillor Gordon. I move that Ordinance 1817 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 1817 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Councillor Adams. If it's possible, if Mr. Elstro could expand on this and uh, any timetable or it's another step in the process of this Elm Street grade separation project. I could have him speak. Mr. Elstro. Mr. President and Council, the uh, ordinance that you have before you would allow us to apply for uh, transportation 
uh, funds through the Ohio Department of uh, Transportation. And these funds were previously referred to uh, as transportation assessment or uh, transportation enhancement funds. Uh, the funds that we are asking will go towards the sidewalk costs, the landscaping and lighting for the east side grade separation. Um, and that project uh, is uh, coming together very well. Uh, we will be, uh, that project is scheduled to go to sale uh, the first quarter of next year, 2018. Uh, so we, what you have before you are several pieces of, uh, of legislation and uh, communications uh, which is now uh, uh, helping us achieve the final funding components of this project, and this is one very important one. Uh, we've already sent in a letter of intent that we will apply for these funds. You're giving us permission to go ahead and file the application, and we expect to hear uh, yet this year, uh, probably very soon in the year, uh, of uh, the funding for this from this component. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Elstra. Thank you, Councillor Adams. Is there any further discussion? We'll have the clerk call the roll. Councillor Crayer. Yes. Councillor Adams. Yes. Councillor Glenn. Yes. Councillor Miles. Yes. Councillor Nixon. Yes. Councillor Gordon. Yes. Councillor McLean. Yes. Councillor Lowe. Ordinance eighteen seventeen has been passed on its first reading by a seven to zero vote. Ordinance nineteen seventeen. Amending ordinance one oh one sixteen. Mr. President. Councillor Gordon. I move that order that 1917 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion on the second is to pass ordinance 1917 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Will the clerk call the roll? Councillor Crayer? Yes. Councillor Adams? Yes. Councillor Glenn? Yes. Councillor Miles? Yes. Councillor Nixon? Yes. Councillor Gordon? Yes. Councillor McLean? Yes. Councillor Lowe? Ordinance 1917 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Ordinance 2017. Provided for the issuance and sale of notes in the maximum aggregate principal amount of $3,665,000 in anticipation of the issuance of bonds for the purpose of paying the cost of various infrastructure projects. Mr. President. Councilor Adams. I'd like to make a motion to first receive, file, and approve the fiscal officer's certificate. Second. Second. The motion in the second is to receive, file, and approve the fiscal, fiscal officer's certificate. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Mr. President. Councilor Adams. I move that Ordinance 20-17 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 2017 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? We'll have the clerk call the roll. Councillor Crayer. Yes. Councillor Adams. Yes. Councillor Glenn. Yes. Councillor Miles. Yes. Councillor Nixon. Yes. Councillor Gordon. Yes. Councillor McLean. Yes. Councillor Love. Ordinance 2017 has been passed on its first reading by a 7 to 0 vote. Miscellaneous business, Councillor Crayer. Uh, really, only one thing tonight. Um, well, I guess two. First thing, uh, the Riverside North Neighbor Association. Uh, has our meeting coming up in January, I'm sorry, in February on the 2nd at Red Cross at 7 p.m. Um, we are having the ladies of the police department come out and talk about personal safety, and it is, will be a good time. It's always a, it's always a fun meeting. Um, and I would just like to encourage people to get out and do things in your community lately, uh, or if there are things to be done <coughs> in the community. Um, shows the Civic Center. Uh, this last week and then of course with the new restaurants opening up so just get out and do things don't stay home um, and be sad that it's kind of wintry out there but be part of community and go do things so that's it thank right. you thank you Councilor Crayer Councilor Adams thank you Mr. President um, first I'd like to remind the committee members of the Finance Committee uh, the other counselors and the public here tonight and they're reviewing that Monday January 30th Excuse me. We'll have a finance committee meeting where we're going to be reviewing the budget. And uh, the first is start at 530. We'll have a public hearing and then go into different departments. <coughs> I apologize. Um, Tuesday, January 31st, will be a continuance at 530 in this chamber. 
And Wednesday, February 1st, will be another public hearing at 530. And then hopefully the finalization of the uh, rest of the departments. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilor Adams. Councilor Glenn. <coughs> yes, uh, first of all, I wanted to ask everyone to keep uh, Councilman Lowe family in prayer. You need a lot of prayers. Keep them in prayer there. Also, uh, I thank Vicki for your great report about our young junior city councils. They're doing really good. Uh, I'm very excited about the kids we have. And like Vicki said, Dr. Sherrill say they just got jobs. And I'm excited they're working. But I want them to spend some time as being a city councilman. So we'll get that adjusted for them, too, because they're doing an outstanding job uh, with the food pantry. The kids are running that. And I appreciate the group from Finley for donating all that big donation. That was exciting that we got that. A lot of folks <coughs> came out for that. Um, we had, uh, I know we had a lot of, a lot of overdoses this past weekend. I hate using that word. That's a word I don't like. It's been bothering me the whole weekend. Um, we had some folks that we know. Uh, one of my clients' uh, son passed away. Then we had when our <coughs> nephew passed away. I mean, it's back to back this weekend, and you know, it, it, I don't know how everybody else is with that, but it's it's it hurt me bad when I hear that, and uh, and most people saying when you guys gonna get a hold in it, but it's take the whole community for all of us get a hold on it. You just can't put it on the police chief, the mayor, the city council, the law director. You can make all kinds of laws. But we got to work together to kill this, to get this off the street. It take all of us to work together and get this done. That's going to continue seeing these funerals go once a week. You know, and, and, uh, and, and I don't know where else to <coughs> talk. My voice box gone because I've been talking the whole weekend. You know, just continue talking to folks about this, you know, about this problem. So I'm hoping and praying that we all come with a solution and raise awareness of this, you know. It's pretty bad. Also, we have some, we still, I want to ask a question on law directors. Our CAT projects, Sam, that, is that still in committee? The CAT, I don't think we've moved it out of committee yet. We still have problems. You know, I know I brought it up uh, a couple years ago. We had it in the committee. We had came up with some, some resolution there, and we're still having the problem right now. So I was going to go back and keep it in safety service and have a meeting on it. Uh, I know. One of our constituents came up with a good idea by tagging the cats, just like we do the dogs. I don't know. We've got to run that through city council. So I'm, I'm going to ask AML that, that we put it back through safety service again. It's still there. It never left the committee about the yeah, cat problem did. we had. Yeah, it did. It did? It left? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Ms. Adams said it left the committee. So I'm going to make a motion that we put this back in the, the cat problem that we have in, in the city back in the safety service committee. Second. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The motion in the second is to refer the issue of feral cats. Yeah, feral, feral cats, cats and cat control to the safety services committee. Is there <coughs> any discussion? Mr. President. Councillor Adams. Just as a reminder to count new councillors as well, mm -hmm. uh, we had had this at uh, qu quite a few years ago when we went into partnership with the uh, Humane Society. Mm -hmm and we had financed some neutering um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. activity in some troubled areas. Uh, some of that was successful. Uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. not all of it was. Uh, I know they're under new ownership, management, and hopefully uh, they hear of this being referred again, they will maybe come before the committee when Ann calls it. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, it still is an issue, and I can speak up on behalf of my ward um, that something needs to be addressed right. uh, in some form. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but we have had it, but it did leave the committee mm -hmm. once we took the step in working with the animal shelter. So, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Councilor Adams. Councilor <coughs> McLean. Um, as a reminder, Excuse one of the me. things, one of the issues that we had is is the legislation is not out there. I mean, there's no state laws or anything to, to, to uh, go after cats. Even the, uh, our dog warden, which is uh, Allen County 
you know, sheriff department, it, there's, no, there's no way that we can enforce anything like that. And we would have to start our own independent cat or dog work for the city. That's way, you're talking about thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in manpower and a building and everything that went with it. That's the reason that we tried to do the legislation that we did. Trying to help get somebody to come in and help us with some of the troubled areas. Uh, I don't think that was very successful. It wasn't in my area. I hope it did with your area, but it wasn't so successful in mine. Um, I, I don't know what we can do, but it's going to be a, um, that's a long-term commitment that we have to look at. Mm -hmm. Not saying it's not an issue. I'm just saying that it's, I don't know that it's something that the city can do. Is there any further discussion? I'm just going to say this, okay? We have dealt with this issue several times over the past several years. We did try a program, what, I think three or four years ago, uh, that kind of fizzled out. The impact was disputable and possibly even minimal. Um, and I know that there is a problem, but I'm just going to say you can't pass a law to address <coughs> a problem. And it'll be interesting to see what the committee comes up with. I'll try to keep an open mind. But to me, it's one of those things that you just, it doesn't matter what legislation there is, you're not going to be able to gain, um, even if we had two cat wardens, <laughs> um, you're not going to be able to gain control of this particular issue. So. Um, I'll support it going to committee with reservation. So, if there's any further discussion? I'm still. Uh, no, Mr. Glenn, we, you've got a motion on the floor. We oh, have yeah. to vote. Have stay. Uh, if there's no further discussion, uh, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Also, we will be rescheduling the uh, human resource uh, meeting. Uh, we'll get it at a later date. And I'll let Sally know she will be emailing the committee members right away and other city councils as soon as we get a date there. Um, I know this cat issue been around a long time, but I do feel that we need to work with our stitch with find some resolution. You know, we just, you know, a lot of people having problems in my ward. And I feel that we're going to come with some kind of solution to give to them, let them know we worked on it. And, uh, it's, it's this continue battle and we just can't never get on top of it right away but it's a problem and we got to deal with it that's what we city councils for we lawmakers here we need to deal with it um, other thing had opportunity to go around the ward a lot this past weekend we got some people who have did up some bad code enforced problems and I had opportunity to talk to some of them and uh, and uh, no, I'm not allowed on your property. And I'm not a snitch. I'll let you know. I, I called on you. And we will deal with this. And uh, I'm asking code enforcement to go in these areas. We're not going to allow you to put a dump in the backyard. You're not going to be selling skids in your backyard. You're not going to be collecting trash from other jobs and put in the backyard. I'm not going for that. And you know I'm not going for that. So we need to take care of your business. I give you an opportunity to get it cleaned up. If it's not cleaned up by tomorrow, I will report it because I gave them a week to get the stuff cleaned up. And ask for it. if you need any help, I will help you. But no, no one should have to go through that, live next door to something like that. Also, uh, I appreciate our, uh, Chief Martin for coming out for the march. Appreciate you so much. The guy had, the guy had a remark about it. I said, man, that's the chief. He come. I said, the chief be here every year, and we appreciate you coming out. You know, you make a difference by coming out. And I know with your Facebook, uh, <coughs> what you're working on the Facebook, trying to bring more open, and that's good. You are taking, being a part of some things in our police department and trying to make a difference, <coughs> make a change. And that's what we got to do. We got to work on seeing what fit, you know. And, uh, and I'm glad you said the word today by getting more supervisors <coughs> involved in our community, making them be so people can see them more too, you know. And it's great. And that's what we got to do so they can get to know just not you, they know everybody else. You know, and that's great, and that's what we want to see. 
Also, I'm glad we, we voted on the Rose State project. That is a great project. <coughs> now, I know when the uh, president says something about it, and it's great that we are moving in that direction. <coughs> and I'm very excited about it. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President. That's okay. Sorry. That's okay. He's Thank you, Councillor Glenn. Mm -hmm. Councillor Miles. First, I want to say, why do I get all these animal complaints here? I had chickens <coughs> and now I have cats. <laughs> The chicken well, problem. It all started with the chicken. Jesse was here to have ground. It started with chicken. <laughs> you didn't get all the, yeah, all the animals this year. Anymore. Okay. <laughs> all righty. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I, um, first, I want to say uh, thanks to Mr. Ozier for the uh, diversity report. Uh, I requested it last, last uh, month, and he uh, gave us an update on the diversity as far as in the uh, workforce here for the city of the city of Lima. As I mentioned before, several years ago, we, we talked about the lack of diversity in the city administration. And Mayor Berger and, and Mr. Osier said that they would commit themselves to working on it and increasing, you know, the number of qualified African Americans in the workforce here. And if I look at the report here in 2014, the percentage, this is just African American in the workforce, was 7.4 percent <coughs> of the total uh, workforce and in 2017 it is up to 10.3 which they're working on it and I appreciate it but we still have a ways to go as far as getting the proper representation in the city administration uh, you know um, as far as employment here and so I, I want to thank them for the efforts and I want to thank Mr. Osier for completing the report as requested. Uh, finally, I want to say hello to a uh, couple that I met when I went out to dinner on Friday night. You know, I mentioned before, like, when you go out to eat or when you're in a public place and you hear somebody say, oh, oh that's that council woman, you know, and you never know what's going to come next. It could be negative, it could be positive. And so I'm sitting, my husband and I are sitting at, at the uh, table, and then I hear that, you know, and so I turn around, and it's, it's, a, it's an older couple here, and... And they start talking to me about things that were going on at city council, and they said that they were faithful listeners. They live in Bath, but they say they, you know, they listen, um, listen every month, every time it's on. And um, Mr. Mr. is Mr. Sprague, Mr. And Mrs. Sprague, Mrs. Sprague was very quiet, but and she was sat there and just smiled. She was, she was such a patient wife here, because Mr. Sprague just went on a went on a roll here. But very nice gentleman. I appreciate him taking the time to talk about the positive things that are happening in the city of Lima, things that are going to happen. Uh, he talked about the uh, council as a whole. He was very encouraging to me as an individual. When you're, at, when you're a public uh, figure here, you never know what people think, what their image is of it. And he kind of really just, just really just spent some time just talking and, and really in, in encouraging, encouraging me. So Mr. Sprague and Mr. Sprague as well, I, I want to say hello and I want to say thank you for your encouragement and thank you for your positive, you know, uh, comments about the city of Lima. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Miles. Councillor Gordon again. <laughs> thank you, Mr. President. And yes, I do still have a voice left, uh, even though Mr. Elstro put me through a lot of pressure tonight. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I, I want to start out with uh, the public works department and all the hard work that Mr. Elstro is doing. Um, these many things that we talked about with the with the engineers and the public works, it just uh, show, goes to show people that there's a lot of things happening in the infrastructure of downtown Lima, and and you're really going to start to see it. Uh, really start to see it. These guys have been working hard for a long time, and I just. I really appreciate working with Mr. Elstro. Uh, I love being the chair of the Public Works Committee, and it's fantastic, the work that's going on and the hard work. So I wanted to, to let him know that he's appreciated. Uh, maybe not so much tonight, but, you know. Um, and also, you know, uh, I want to make mention that pretty soon we're going to start to see the changes right here in the square. Uh, thank Road State and the hard work of the mayor, and again, Mr. Elstro and city council for the, uh, the things that are happening. We're gonna start to see that, that uh, quadrant of the, the square start to clear out and buildings come down, and man, it's exciting to me. Um, you know, I'm, I know I'm kind of a hands-on type of guy, not really a suit and tie type of guy, so I like those things when the dirt's flying. 
so I'll probably be down here picking up some rocks or something. But, but I do appreciate everybody that's involved in, in uh, what's going on with, with the Road State Project. Um, I also want to send prayers out to Councilor Lowe. Uh, we need to remember him without going into everything, but uh, him and his family are going through some things, and, and we, we need to pray for him because it's a hard time, and, and we're you know, very sorry that he has to go through those things. Um, one of the final things I have to say, I want to say happy birthday to Mr. Cleves. I know he don't like uh, the attention, but uh, I'm going to say it anyway publicly. And the, the last and final thing, you wouldn't think I'd have any voice left, but as I want to remind people to be good to each other. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Gordon. Councillor McLean. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, may I like, I think you should ask Councillor Gordon about 17 questions <laughs> More and make questions? him expound upon them. <laughs> well, I would like to expound a little bit more on what he said about the downtown. Um, downtown's going to change within the next couple of months. And we're going to see a lot of progress. And uh, it's, it's, it's something that's exciting to me. We've worked on this for a long, long time. The, the mayor has. I mean, Rhodes has. You know, we've seen those things in those windows across the street for a long, long time. I want to see them gone. I want to see level ground. And that's going to happen. So it is something that uh, has been a long road, but it's going to be something I'm very glad. I don't know if I'm going to come down and pick up rocks, but uh, I might pick up a brick or two just to remind me. Yeah. But, uh, and, and, and Mr. Lowe, uh, our Councilor Lowe has uh, been on my mind all this week, um, it, especially his family. Uh, so keep him in our prayers, and we also need to make a motion to excuse him from his absence and for his pay for the night. Second. The motion the second is to approve the absence and salary of Councilor Lowe. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McLean. Um, Howard, I, I am going to ask you a question. Probably should have done it when we received the communication. But the, la the next to the last sentence of this communication says, demolition is planned to commence as soon as possible. Do you have an indication of when as soon as possible is? I like the part that completion is by May 1st. But some people might, might want to take a look at what it is now before it's all gone. Right. Uh, as tomorrow? As, no, it, it will not be tomorrow. Tonight. Uh, now that you've provided authority, uh, the contracts will, will uh, receive final review by the law director. And uh, I'm sure, uh, as his office is always very prolific and uh, timely, we will have those back. Once those contracts come back, uh, Hume Supply will sign off on those. Uh, we'll get the mayor's signature. So I would anticipate we'll probably Tomorrow. be talking a matter of a couple of weeks, uh, several weeks before we get started. <laughs> so no, we will do sense. our best. <laughs> we will do our best. Thank you. Howard, repeat after me. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I don't have anything else to put on tonight. Mr. President. Councilor Adams. I move the City Council adjourn until February 6th at 7 p.m. in this chamber. Second. second. The motion the second is that Lima City Council adjourn until February 6th at 7 p.m. Is there any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Hearing none, we are adjourned.